Hey, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. See, Star McVicot made this for me. See, Star. It's the one and only. Nobody will ever have one like that. And it's awesome. Smoking a little cherry bomb in it. I shouldn't be smoking because I've been sick as a dog. But it's really hard. I've been been taking snooze more than anything but I'm only having a maybe three pipes a day but um you ever seen this Stanwell eBay buy I got a long time ago smoking this uh, McClellan's Stave, Stave Age Virginia 35 ribbon this is um I'm gonna try this it's kind of like uh well I can't come it's like the Frog Morton Cellar but maybe a little bit more of a caramel whiskey. <coughs> the fucking smell is phenomenal. And it smokes really good. Um, you want to smell that cane? Don't eat it. But, uh, yeah, I just got this. I just read a little bit about it on Pipe Cigars. And I was like, fuck it, I'll try it. And I like it. I'll probably order another 10 after I burn that one. But, um... Uh, let's see here. Well, I got this pipe. Um, Instagram user. Uh, his name is Nufi Pipe. Um, here's if you watch this video. This is how big that Mario Grande. Is. We're talking about maybe doing a possible trade for a Stanwell horn. Yeah, this is. You wanted a big pipe. This is the biggest pipe we have. Uh, he bought it a while ago. Literally smoked it twice. It's just too fucking big for us. Like, look at the bit on this thing. <laughs> It's a fucking stove pipe, man. Yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can hold this so you can compare it in video here. Like, it's a huge pipe. So, I mean, if you want to trade this Mario Grande for that Stanwell horn, we're game. Um, but we're here because, of course, we got box opening. Now, I've been reading a everybody's... very special box yeah, opening. Yeah, I've been reading everybody's comments and emails that they sent to me. Man, I still haven't got back to any of them. I've just been too busy working and being sick and trying to recover from all this shit and um but i've i've read and remembered a bunch of emails um and for the people that are butthurt on me not responding butthurt yeah i got a couple negative emails you, you gotta man you gotta put yourself in my shoes like i just can't fucking do it all like i got too much shit going on uh not trying to deliberately be a dick and ignore anybody's questions it's just uh you know, it's a repetitive conversation with me. I, I don't get paid to sit here all day and fucking do YouTube videos. So, uh, it takes a lot of time for me to sit here and go through all that stuff. Uh, YouTube's pretty jacked up right now, so uh, just bear with me. Um, you know, I'm not one to ignore anybody. But, uh, you know, if you take it the wrong way, I mean, that's the way you live and, and your mindset, so I can't change that, but, you know, I can only apologize so many times. With that said, uh, I'll get to it. Alright, so, uh, oh, one of the one of the emails I got was, you guys need to do more videos. That That's even hard for us to do. Uh, when I'm on night shift for this month, uh, you know, our schedules, he's only home right now because he's sick. He had eye surgery. And, uh, laser surgery so our our timing when he comes home I'm leaving to go to work so it's hard for us to make videos <coughs> the weekends we're gone but um, we're not going anywhere we're gonna keep making videos um, it's because of all you people and, and the comments and the inspiration that keep us doing videos uh, I mean if it royally sucked we'd say fuck it and never do it again but we enjoy just doing this and uh, you know it's fun you know, we try to, we're going to try to keep it fun. Uh, not really change anything. But, um... Oh, another question was, oh, you guys only do videos when you get box openings. Well, sometimes it's inspiring to do a video when we get a box opening. I mean, really. Especially one like this one. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys want us to do? Just make a video and just sit here and fucking ramble on about bullshit? Like, that's, er that's everybody's life. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how uh, entertaining that is. I mean... I don't really think we're that entertaining as it is, but we'll just uh, we're just gonna continue doing what we do, okay? So now you know, a lot of them want to see uh, our our pipes. Yeah, I mean, goddamn, it's gonna be. 
that's a lot of work for us to take all the shit out and film it all. I mean, maybe one day we'll get it, but, um, I don't know, uh, I, we did that one time, like maybe two years ago, we had them all laid out on the table, but, uh, oh, oh, we'll get right to here, it. Let me see something in a minute. Let me just take, take them on a little tour. If you can see those pipes on that wall, those are just mine. <laughs> Jason's. Mine are stashed over there. Are right over there. That's my pipe area. We probably have close to, I don't know, 200 pipes maybe? No. I don't no? think so. I probably only have maybe 50, 55. I don't think it's that big. I mean, there's some. Okay, so we got maybe about 100 pipes. All right, you know what? Here's a box we got. All the way from England. Adrian David. Also known as ADZ Pipes, the uh, zombie pipe presenting master, uh, ADZ Art, if you're on Facebook, or he has a YouTube channel. <coughs> One of the most creative guys I know, awesome friend. Love you, AD. I love you, AD. I'm gonna cut away from Kane's face. Wow. Just seen we went to, uh, to England, they had a, uh, a motor home. And they had made a sign and it said, the Dagner Tour Bus. <laughs> Hold on, I have that sign somewhere. Yeah, we brought it home. Yeah, I thought I had it hanging on the wall. Oh, shit. Huh. What do you think, Kane? Okay, we got a box of goodies here. Look at this little skull eraser head. Mm. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can get that on my bike somewhere. It smells like England. Uh, we got some toys for the dogs. Look at that. Yeah, you want that? You want that? Get it, get it. Ready? Go get it. Look at this one. He's got handcuffs on. That's pretty cool. Little zombie. That one we gotta hang up. Yeah, we'll hang this one up. I like that one. Oh, what's this? I don't know what that is. Oh, that must be for you. That is for you. I'm sure we got a note in here. I better read the note first. Wow, look at that. Arg, arg. How are you? I'm thinking I opened this box upside down. Yeah, we got a note. Let me put the pipe down. Oh, yes. I mean, this is the kind of artist he is. Like, he didn't send a little fucking scribbly Hello Kitty <laughs> love note. He sends a fucking professional printed artistic note. I hope I can read it. ADZ art slash ADZ pipes, creative design, illustration, and digital media. That's for damn sure. Uh, pipe again. Hey dudes and doggettes. <laughs> Belated Christmas birthday greetings, motherfuckers. Some bits for Jay and Jason. Happy New Year. 2013 will be pipe again. Love and gore, ADZ. Love you, man. Love you. And, uh, matter of fact, before we even opened this today, we did a um, Boswell's order, and I've been meaning to, to send AD and Bill, Puffalo Bill, some tobacco for the longest time. I just haven't had money and trying to get caught up on all my shit. Well, AD, Bill, you got Pound of North was coming, and we created a Boswell's Puffalo Bill uh, special blend. It's Christmas cookie and cherry smash, which is a, basically like a cherry vanilla. Uh, that is uh, specifically blended for you, Bill. And uh, you guys can share it and smoke it and do whatever you want with it. But uh, we'll, we should get it here in about three days, and then we'll send it out to you guys in the same box. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, wow, that's cool. A little picture frame. Oh, man, that's really cool. Look at that. Yeah. Kane, you want me to put a picture of you in there? No. Nope. You want, you want your picture in there? Are you a pirate dog? Yeah. That's put, cool. Put Mango in there. Put a picture of me and you in there. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, man, look at that. I love candy. I, I'm a chocolate holic. Oh, shit. 
Look at this candy boy. Oh, he's a candy monster. You break it off my chocolate. Caution, zombie mix. Uh oh. You want to open that and smell it? Oh, this must be from Bill. I don't know if you've ever had these, these coconut chocolates, but god damn are they good. You can't get them here. They're kind of like a mound bar. Yeah, actually, I think you can get them at World Market. Yeah, I'm going to tear these up. Thanks for getting me fat, AD. <laughs> wow, this is nice. That's metal. Keep out, no trespassing, or face the plank. Yay! Do not disturb sign. I'll put that on the front door. Fucking people wake me up. You know, I sleep in the daytime because I work nights, and I got every fucking asshole in the world trying to wake me up for some stupid fucking reason. You know, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, Mormons, I don't know why they feel the need to open the gate that says, Do not disturb. I'll fucking kill you if you ring the doorbell. That's the sign on the front gate. And they come in anyways. And then I have to get up out of a deep sleep, basically naked, and you got to, like, answer the door to this thing coming out. Like, they just run. We have oh, wow. ADZ Zombie Mix. Let me smell that. For the dags. Give Kane a smell. You want to get in there? Oh. Let me try. Kane likes it. Let me smell Wow, that smells good. Yeah. You want me to pack mm. you a bowl? You want me to pack you a bowl? We'll smell it again. Smell it again. <laughs> Damn. Put your face in there. Well, AD, Bill, thank you guys. Thank you very um, much. Yeah, we're, we're going to hang this guy up. Oh, you want that? Very cool, man. I love... The uh, thing is, like, we have a special connection and bond, and uh, it's it's more than just pipe smoking. <laughs> you know, those guys are uh, our British family. And uh, I could not say enough good things about those guys. Uh, they rolled out the red carpet for us for sure. Yep. And uh, we will be coming back to England, uh, definitely. This year, we're kind of booked, man. The uh, the calendar is full for us this year. But next year, I'd like to uh, come back to England. I want to go to Sweden and uh, see Sea Star and maybe take the train back to Denmark, go see Mark. And uh, possibly do uh, Australia and Thailand. Thailand next year. So uh, California this year. Yeah, he's got to get some more time under his belt for retirement there next year. So we should be good to go. Well, I'm I'm out this November. <clears throat> but uh, what's our time? Oh, we got three minutes. But yeah, um, I come to England and help Bill with his vending. If you guys, uh, I'm sure everybody subscribed to AD and Puffalo Bill, but if you're not, uh, the fuck I, you waiting on? I'm not gonna put the uh, description in the box because that takes me too long. Because we do this on an iPhone, no special shit. Just boom, it'll be lo it'll be loaded in five minutes. But um, ADZ Pipes and Puffalo Bill, uh, really awesome dudes, very good uh, participants to the uh, YouTube pipe community, and. Uh, you know they got special special places in our hearts, but um, they live about forty five minutes out of Nahan or not Nahan, Nottingham Nottingham yeah, and we were staying in Nottingham, and they went home and came back the next day mm -hmm. to party. Yeah, we went and partied, and it, look right there, the blue dog. I've still got like memorabilia from the bar that I brought home. I've got it uh, posted on the wall over there and I got one over there. So every time I look at that, it's impossible for me not to remember that time that we shared there. Um, and with Glenn, um, Glenn is GL005, another awesome uh, pipe presenter. He's the... Uh, Took us under his wing as well. Yeah. He's a really great guy, which uh, I haven't really seen too many videos from Glenn. Although I haven't really seen too many videos in the last couple of months as it is, but um, I'll probably never catch up. All right, I got to go. Start getting ready for work. Uh, you got anything else you want to tell them? Yeah, in case you hear that music in the background, that would be Stumblers In. Yep, that's Alec Meyerfield, our friend from Canada. Uh, check him out on uh, iTunes, Stumblers In, fucking insane music. Good put, music. Put you in, in a good mood and any time of the day. See you guys. Bye.